Welcome back everyone. First, I wanted to mention my videos have some side effects. The main side effect is that you might fall asleep, but a good nap is always good. Today we're going to move my real link 410W to the back garage. But before we do this, we got to check first if we have enough signal strength there. And that's real easy to check. I have here an old cell phone. It's not connected to any cell service, it's just connected. And I have an app on that phone. It's called Wi-Fi Man. With that app, I can easily see the signal strengths. Now, the funny thing is, I installed that app also on my iPad. And on the iPad, I see only my network. I don't see networks from other people and I don't even see the correct signal strengths. So, Take it with a grain of salt, uh, just look for apps where you can measure your Wi-Fi signal strength. Let's go to my garage in the backyard and see if I have enough signal strength. So I take a second camera with me, don't be alarmed. I leave the main one on the tripod and I'm going to check the signal strength. I see both of my networks my 5 gigahertz and my 2.4 gigahertz. So I go probably with the 2.4 gigahertz because we are further away. The 2.4 gigahertz frequency can penetrate walls and stuff easier. I have two walls between my router and this garage here. It shows up as fine and we mount it up here. It's minus, I get minus 64, a good signal. I'm about 85 feet away with two walls between it. Now, according to Reolink, this 410, just like the 510WA, should reach a distance of 164 feet. And we're gonna give that a try. Like I mentioned, I have two walls between it. So, yesterday, I measured 164 feet from this router. Let me get the camera in here. And I don't know if you can see it. I put a marker in the ground. Let me see if we can zoom in and see that marker. It's pretty far out there. I mounted the camera temporarily on the ladder. We will go out there, measure the signal strengths, and also take a look if this camera sends a picture over. We are at the 100 feet mark here, and my Wi-Fi signal shows fine to my router. The camera is up and running. We can see that on our iPad. I hope you can see that stuff. So it works at the 100 feet mark. So right now we are measuring the maximum distance according to specification. So as you can see, I moved the camera back to the 164 feet mark with the two walls between and I get a signal. It was fluctuating but it's enough for the camera to be connected to your wireless network. It reaches the distance of the specification. Now it depends on your structure where your firewall sits it depends on the material of your walls and everything. That's why I say use any Wi-Fi strength meter, what you can download on your mobile device, go to the point where you want to install the camera and then drill the holes. Because if you install the camera, drill all the holes through the walls, you won't be happy if you get a Wi-Fi signal. I moved it all the way back to the end of my property. It was almost 300 feet and there was no signal. But I moved it back here now 
So we are 200 feet away. I have a weak signal. It goes in and out. It's not usable as a security camera. Just to show you how far it could go. Now it all depends on your wireless access point. I just have an end user access point. It works perfect, this camera. There are no issues with it as long as I stay within the signal range. And to do this, really important, before you mount your camera, always check your signal strength. That was it for today. Even if you fell asleep, in and out of sleep during this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not a subscriber because it really helps me out. Feel free to leave any comments in the comment section. I'm reading them. And turn on the notification bell if you want to be notified when I post another video. Have a great week.